Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. I am very very excited for today's video because whatever you see on my face is what you all chose. So on to my Instagram, which if you aren't following, you should. I do share a lot of makeup looks there. I did some polls wherein I shared two products in the same category and you had to choose one. So whichever got higher votes is what is on my face. If you're liking what you're seeing, you should definitely hit that like button. I so appreciate if you will hit the subscribe button because it helps me a lot. So without any further ado, let's get into the video. So for the eyeshadow, you guys chose the ABH Sultry palette. So this is a very cool tone palette. Um, I am more of a warm eyeshadow lover. If you are a cool tone lover, you need this palette because it got you covered with all those lovely tones. So to prime my eyes, I'm going to use the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the shade Light Neutral. This is my favorite way to prime my eyelids. This concealer is on a drier side, so I do not have to set it with powder and hence it has the right amount of tackiness for the eyeshadows to stick on and to blend on. So now with my pack 028 brush, I am going to go into the shade Twig. So on to the crease we go. Pack 393 brush, just a clean brush with no eyeshadow on it, just, just to slightly blend, buff and soften the shade. Now I am going to go into the pack 107 brush with the shade Dystopian. We will take this eyeshadow very very close to our lash line, making a V onto the outer corner. Go into the shade Rose Quartz. Now off camera I did my eyebrows for which I used the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil. For the mascara I used the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara, my absolute favorite. And for the liner, again the Too Faced Better Than Sex Liner. For the face you all chose the Smashbox Primerizer. This is my favorite, favorite primer if you have dry skin. You need this primer in your life. It is a primer and moisturizer in one. It has hyaluronic acid. If you don't know about hyaluronic acid, you should. It is the holy grail for dry skin people like me. Just a heads up, the shimmery shade we used from the palette did have quite a bit of fallout on my face. So yeah, doing eyeshadow first definitely helps. Getting on to the foundation, you all chose the MAC Studio Sculpt. Mine is in the shade NC30, which is definitely darker for my skin tone. I do need to get a lighter shade in this foundation because it is one of my favorite. Again, if you have dry skin like me, this is a beautiful foundation. But as you can see, it is quite a bit dark. So we will just blend it down to our neck. This is not a full coverage foundation whatsoever. It's more like a buildable medium coverage foundation, I would say. Once I blend it, you can like still see my skin through it. So yeah. Now, as you can see, this foundation does leave a healthy skin-like glow, which I much appreciate. So for the concealer, you guys chose the Bond This Way multi-use sculpting concealer mine is in the shade vanilla now this is a light coverage foundation whereas this is a very high coverage concealer so the combination of these two won't look the best because either go with both higher coverage or both lower coverage but since we chose this we're gonna use this so what i'm gonna do is I'm not going to go directly under my eyes. I'm going to take a little bit onto the back of my hand. And I am going to use a fluffy brush instead of a dense brush. I will work it into the brush and then go onto my under eyes. If I were to use a denser brush, 
um, it would give me a higher coverage. To set my face, I'm gonna use a Thrive Cosmetics filtered translucent powder with a fluffy brush. Not too much, just a little tiny bit is good. Before setting your under eyes, just make sure there are no creases under there. So just go in with your brush or your finger and just blend any creases out. I do not set my entire face. I just set my under eyes and nose really. And whatever is left on my skin, I will just go around. Like I won't take any excess product because too much of powder is not good for my dry skin. So for the bronzer, you all chose the Benefit Capricorn bronzer. For the bronzer, I'm gonna use the Note brush. I love this brush. onto the jawline because I have some double chin going on I am also going to go around my nose just a little bit just a little bit not too harsh of a contour now for the blush you all chose the Clinique cheek pop in shade 0 to peach pop I love this blush because this blush doesn't have any shimmer in it it's like a satiny blush. It looks so like skin like, but leaves like a healthy glow to my skin. Now, earlier I didn't used to care about putting on blush. I would just put on a bronzer and a highlighter. But now I can't go anywhere without a blush. You guys let me know in the comments down below if you are a blush person. Or you just simply don't care. I'm gonna take it onto my chin, onto my nose, around my forehead just to bring the color together. Okay. I am going to line my upper and lower waterline using the Nika Kajal. The Pack 092 brush, which is a pencil brush with the shade Dystopian. I'm going to run it under my lower lash line. Go into the Pack 226 brush just to blend my lower lash line. For the lower lashes, I am going to go into the MAC Extended Play look at how thin the wand is it's perfect for your lower lashes before going into the highlighter i am going to set my face using the flower beauty seal the deal setting spray now this says that it is a matte finish no it is not it is rather a satiny finish but this does make your makeup last really really long time so if you need that lasting part this is a great setting spray now this setting spray comes with a white nozzle mine was defected so i switched it up with whatever i had so now to the highlighter you all chose the pixie by petra this isn't the shade delicate you. I am going to go into the pinkier one over here with my Wet n Wild P75 brush. This is the best brush for highlighting ever. Ooh, you can see how glossy and blinding that highlighter is. It's beautiful and blends so easily. 
pack three for one brush to highlight my brow bone and my inner corners. I'm also going to highlight the bridge of my nose. Okay, so for the last step, the lips. Now I did give you option for two very bold lips. One was the red one and this is what you all chose. Now if it was me right now, I would have gone with a nude lip. I did give you the option of bold lips intentionally because this was a good opportunity for me to push myself out of my comfort zone or else I wouldn't have done it. So yeah. Before I complete it, I want you guys to let me know if it was you, what would you choose? A bright, bold lip or a nude lip? Oh, I think... Oh. Oh. What do you guys think? This lip looks good or not? Let me know. I think that it looks pretty good. Okay, so that is the finished look guys. If you enjoyed the look, please hit the like button. And if you aren't subscribed to my channel already, you would definitely should. I have a lot more fun videos coming your way. Also press the bell icon besides the subscribe button so that you are notified every single time I upload a new video. Thank you so much for watching. I love you all.